Round 2 of the Woods for World Cup Series is finished. Round 3 is closely approaching and the points are close. During the previous round, we saw the Turks and UK Predators battle it out against some hungry competition. Going in strong, the Turks knew what they had to do to keep their number one spot, whereas the likes of the Preds and Tigers who secured fourth in the first round were going to make the Turks fight down to the very last ball. Surrounded by a lot of hidden talent, it was once again a level playing field. Regardless of the points on the board, it was still anyone's game. the heat and pressure. Each game throughout the day constantly came down to the wire. Losing bodies early or losing to critical gunfights really applied the pressure on the top teams during the event. Could they pull it out of the bag? Even though the teams like the Turks, Tigers, Preds and Hawks who all made the pro bracket in the second half, it was going to be a battle of the gods, an all out war to become once again the best and conquer the competition. Pods empty, guns dry and jerseys dirty. The day had come to an end with some really promising results. Securing first yet again, the Turks were going into round three with even more pressure on their shoulders to keep their well-deserved top spot. Only 22 points behind, the Tigers came second with the Preds coming in close third. Round three is going to be interesting and these teams will need to step it up a notch if they want to knock down the Turks from their number one placement. But we must not forget that one of Marcus's dreams is currently falling into place. The United Kingdom is bringing home Woodsball. Marcus is forming a brotherhood. 